And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We are tossing things over to meteorologist Andrew Samet for a look at the forecast. All right, Corinne, we are going to have another nice day out there. Low humidity for us. Also, we are dry as well. Taking a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera. We are, or Longview rather, with our Skyview camera. We are seeing mostly sunny skies out there. The temperature right now in Longview is at 85. The dew point at 60. And an east wind at 9 miles per hour. Uh, these winds will stay out of the east throughout the day at about 10 miles per hour. Temperatures around the rest of the region look like this. It's 83 in Gilmer, 85 in Tyler, 87 for Jacksonville. A degree shy of 90 in Luff. 86 in Nacogdoches and in Palestine, 84 degrees the temperature in Athens. Dew point temperature wise, upper 50s to low 60s north. It's already starting to become a bit more humid in places like Lufkin and Crockett. We'll see this humidity factor gradually rise throughout the next couple of hours here, uh, but really won't make it into the entire area until we head into tonight. Uh, dew points again in the mid 60s indicates the more humid air, and the dew points in the 50s indicate the air that is a lot more comfortable uh, for this time of year. Wind speeds right now are between about uh, 3 and 10 miles per hour. Uh, we are going to see these winds around 10 miles per hour throughout the day. So a little bit lighter than yesterday, but still there is a fire weather concern uh, for us because of that low humidity. So if your county is not under a burn ban, you're not in red here. Uh, outdoor burning is still not advised today due to the increased fire weather threat. And of course, burn uh, outdoor burning not allowed at all in the uh, burn ban counties. Here's a recap of what we can expect today. We climb up to 96 degrees, the so low humidity overall, uh, with the exception in deep east Texas. That could also lead to a pop up showers or in the afternoon or so. And then by the uh, afternoon, we'll see those winds out of the east at around 10 miles per hour. So again, we are going to be mainly dry for our day today. We are tracking this tropical wave, though, in the Gulf of Mexico has a medium threat of developing into a, a tropical cyclone. Uh, likely it would be a tropical depression only uh, by the time it makes its way onto land. So it's not going to cause a significant impact to the state of Texas. Some uh, potential for some very heavy rain in South Texas. But for here locally, I think it's just beneficial rainfall for us uh, that will move through. We're not going to get a, a super soaking event here, uh, but certainly uh, we can take what we can get. Thursday afternoon, we see a few bubble up showers. It's not associated with the uh, tropical wave. Uh, but then as we head into your day on Friday, even during the morning hours, could see some rain and maybe a thunderstorm or two in into the afternoon. Again, we're not going to see an all day rain event, but certainly we'll take what we can get. It's our highest rain chances on Friday and Saturday than where we have seen as of late. And even into the day on Sunday, we could see additional showers and storms, even as that center of the low pushes well off to the north of our area. Again, we do need that rainfall. We've got the moderate drought for a large portion of the area, and we will get a new drought monitor update tomorrow. It will be ready for East Texas Live, so tune in tomorrow at this time, and we'll have the latest look at the drought monitor. I do expect it to look a little worse out there, but Again, thankfully, we will see some rain chances Friday and Saturday, scattered showers and thunderstorms, and then we'll dry things out by the 4th of July on Monday with highs in the upper 90s for deep east Texas. Again, storm chances increase Friday and Saturday, and then we are dry for next week.